Hey guys, this is Mauro. I want to go through a couple of volleys, feather volleys, backhand volleys. One of them is moving towards the net and the other one is uh, a volley that he's, he's already standing by the net. It's, it's pretty important. There, there are some little details that I want to go through that um, I think that we all can learn a lot from them. I really, really like it because it's a, it's, it's a very slow motion um, couple of shots and okay well let's go through it first one is you um, he's standing by the net already and there are a few things that I that I want to point out here as you can see um, one thing here is when he's bringing his racket back, he's gonna you, you're gonna notice a little a little just like a little bit later, it's very noticeable. He's gonna be cocking the the wrist. Another thing is his racket is not coming further back than his shoulders. Uh, why is that? Because he's turning he's turning his body, his chest is turning a little bit towards the side. Let's say that. According to the position or uh, how he is standing there, he's probably turning a little bit 45 degrees towards the net post, give or take, let's say. So that's one thing that I want to notice there. The second one is, as you can see, he has a racket. The racket doesn't come far back. It's more behind his head. If you And, and if you see the, the grip, he's keeping the grip pretty much in front of his body right there. And he's just getting ready, just getting ready to let go and start leading. What's going to happen, you're going to notice the grip is going to lead forward first. Okay, let's see. All right. Um, okay, there. We're going to notice that he he already he's cocking the wrist here that's one thing the second thing is he first he's gonna lead with with the butt cap and eventually he's gonna lead with the edge of the racket forward and once uh once he's done that he's gonna he's gonna swing his his um he's not really gonna swing forward with with um slicing that ball He's gonna go. It's more kind of a side spin, so he's gonna go diagonally on that shot. Okay, this is something that I wanted to point out. If you notice, the moment he makes contact, the grip and the head of the racket there is square. the 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 rack The head of the racket comes from behind, lagging. So the moment he makes contact, they're square, they catch up with each other. Another thing that I that that I wanted to point out, let me go back a little bit here. Let's see. Okay. You're gonna notice that when after he hits his racket is gonna kinda drop a little bit. He did he he makes contact, and the moment he makes contact, the grip is lined up with the head of the racket. And right after contact, you're gonna see how the how the racket kind of drops there. See? But one thing here is that he never he always keeps an angle with the arm and the racket. He never lets the racket extend so much that it's gonna be, you know, lined up completely with the arm. You don't wanna do that. He's always gonna keep a little bit of an angle with the racket and the arm. Let me go back a little bit, and I want you guys to pay attention. The moment he makes to the to the moment when he makes contact with the ball, he does something. There is something he does with the wrist. Look. There. See. While he's wh while he's moving forward. While he's moving forward, his racket, he could make contact and keep going straight like that. Instead, what he does is he he goes, he's moving towards the ball, 
And the moment he made contact, the racket kind of drops a little bit in an angle like that. Let's 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 let it run to see. Give me a second here. Okay, let's let's do it again. Let's see. There. Uh huh. At, at that moment. At that moment, he let. After he made contact. After he made contact, he let he the the head of the grip or the edge of the racket stopped leaning, and then he just kind of drops the racket a little bit, and he's focusing more on bringing that arm around. I just want to see just one more time, really quick there. That's moment when he does that, and he goes more in a in kind of to the side there okay now we're gonna see when he's moving forward it's a really really good footage that we're gonna be seeing here um coming towards the net and and the and the, the kind of volley he's gonna make through that one all right what one thing to notice here is First, the wrist. He's cocking the wrist. So he's getting ready to go more kind of side spin to the side. So he's going to make kind of a diagonal swing instead of really going through, instead of really going through the ball forward. He's going to kind of go, go more to the side. Let's let it run. And uh -huh. again, look at the, the head of the racket. The head of the racket is pretty almost behind his head there. He's getting ready. He starts going with this part of the arm, butt cap leading, slicing to the side. And he keeps the angle with the racket. He never lets the racket extend completely there. I want to see that again. Let's see that again, guys. Okay. So he's cocking the wrist. Moving towards that ball. The butt cap is leading there. Contact. And the arm, the racket never extends so much that it makes a straight line with the arm. Now, another, another, things, another thing I want you to notice, guys. Look at his legs. I, w I want you to to see what he's gonna do when when he's about to make contact. There, he turns. He makes contact, and there. That's a very that's a very important thing here. He's he shuffles. He doesn't keep on running, but that shot he be, he turns. He turns his body to be able to slide. To when he makes to be able to make contact with that ball and swing more to the side, so his position is making him shuffle here. That is something that I don't get to see very often, and it's very important, especially when you're moving forward towards the net, and you and you know that you need um, and you know that you need to slice that ball to side spin that ball instead of attacking too much through the ball going forward. All right. Okay, guys. Well, um, that's it. That's it. Um, I wanted you, I just wanted to show you this thing really quick. I hope it helps. Um, and remember, um, when you go out there, okay, uh, stay centered, be bold and and be perseverant guys it's good to see you and till next time goodbye